Today I'm going to show you how to create polo shirt mock-up design in Adobe Photoshop. The first step is go to File, and create a new document. From the drop-down, select the pixels. I'll make the width, 3000. The height, 2000. The resolution, 150 pixels, inch. The color mode, RGB color, 8-bit. And the background contents, white. Then click Create. Go back to File, Place Embedded, and place your polo shirt photo. Drag your photo to a position you like. Hit enter or return on the keyboard. Go to select, and subject, click add layer mask icon to remove the background. Right click on the polo shirt layer and choose the convert to smart object. Go to image, adjustments, and open your brightness and contrast. I'll make the brightness, 150, and contrast, 70. Then click OK. Go back to image, adjustments, and open the levels window. Adjust shadow input level to 25 and the shadow output level 100. Then click OK. Click the arrow beside the FX icon to collapse the effects list. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Change the blend mode to multiply. Decrease the opacity to 30%. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Change the blend mode to overlay. Set the opacity back to 100%. Click the FX icon and choose the blending options. Hold down Alt to split the white and black slider of the underlying layer. Click OK once you're satisfied. Select the two layers by holding down Shift key. Press Ctrl G to place them into a folder group. Double click on this and rename it Front Effect or Front Blend Effect. Select the layer below. Open your rectangle tool. Click on your document and create rectangle. Drag these handles to resize your rectangle shape and equalize it to your polo shirt just like that. Click the fill color, you can choose whatever color you like. And the stroke, select no stroke, then close properties window. Right click on the rectangle layer and convert to smart object, and then disable the layer. Now, make a selection around the polo shirt body. You can use any selection tool that you like, I'm just going to use pen tool. From the drop down, select the path. Under the path operations, select exclude overlapping shapes. Create a path around the polo shirt body. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Now, enable the rectangle layer. Click Add Layer Mask icon to remove the extras outside the selection. Double click on the rectangle's layers thumbnail. Go to File, Place Embedded, and place your PSD file design or image file design. Drag these handles to resize your design. Hit Enter or Return when you're finished. Go back to File and save it. And then close the PSB document. Change the blend mode to Multiply. Double click on this and rename it Body. Create a path around the right stripe. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose the solid color. In the color picker, choose any color. Then click OK. Right click and choose the convert to smart object. Rename the layer, right stripe. Double click on the layer's thumbnail. Go back to file, place embedded, and place your design. Right click and create clipping mask. Press Ctrl T to select the free transform tool. Drag these handles to resize your design. Click and drag outside the free transform box to rotate your design and match it to your shirt stripe. Hit enter or return once you're satisfied. Go back to file and save it, and then close the document. Change the blend mode to multiply. Create a path around the left stripe. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to Adjustment Layer icon and choose the solid color. In the color picker, choose whatever color you like. Then click OK. Right click and choose the convert to Smart Object. Rename the layer, Left Stripe. Double click on the layer's thumbnail. Go back to File, Place Embedded, and place your design. Right click and create Clipping Mask. Press Ctrl T to select the free transform tool. Drag these handles to resize your design. 
Click and drag outside the free transform box to rotate your design and match it to your shirt stripe. Hit enter or return when you're finished. Go back to file and save it. And then close the document. Change the blend mode to multiply. Create a path around the left sleeve. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to Adjustment Layer icon and Solid Color. In the Color Picker you can choose any color of your design, I'll choose Dark Red. Then click OK. Change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Double click on this and rename it Left Sleeve. Create a path around the right sleeve. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to Adjustment Layer icon and choose the solid color. Pick the color of your design, I'll choose dark red. Then click OK. Change the blend mode to multiply. Double click on this and rename it right sleeve. Create a path around the top collar. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to Adjustment Layer icon and choose the solid color. Pick the color of your design, then click OK. Change the blend mode to multiply. Double click on this and rename it Color. Create a path inside your polo shirt at the top. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to Adjustment Layer icon and Solid Color. In the color picker choose dark area of your design, then click OK, double click on this and rename it inside. Create a path around the buttons. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to adjustment layer icon and choose the solid color. Pick the color of your design, I'll choose gray, then click OK, change the blend mode to multiply. Open your brush tool, select layer mask of the color layer. Click the foreground color, and make sure white, then click OK. Paint with white to reveal their colors. Select the 9 layers by holding down Shift key. Press Ctrl G to place them into a folder group. Double click on this, and rename it Front. Now, go to File, Place Embedded, and place your second image. Drag your photo to a position you like. Hit enter or return on the keyboard. Go to select and subject. Click add layer mask icon to remove the background. And then right click and convert to smart object. Go to image, adjustments, and open your brightness and contrast. I'll make the brightness 148 and contrast 10. Then click OK. Go back to image, adjustments, and open the levels window. Adjust highlight input level to 145 and the midtone output level, 2.01. Then click OK. Click the arrow beside the FX icon to collapse the effects list. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Change the blend mode to multiply. Decrease the opacity to 30%. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Change the blend mode to overlay. Click the FX icon and choose the blending options. Hold down Alt to split the white and black slider of the underlying layer. Click OK once you're satisfied. Select the two layers by holding down Shift key. Press Ctrl G to place them into a folder group. Double click on this and rename it Back Effect. Select the layer below. Open your rectangle tool. Click on your document and create rectangle. Drag these handles to resize your rectangle shape and equalize it to your back polo shirt just like that. Click the fill color. You can choose whatever color you like. And the stroke. Select No Stroke. Then close properties window. Right click on the rectangle layer and convert to smart object. And then disable the layer. Open your pen tool. Disable the background layer. Create a path around the back polo shirt body. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Now, enable the rectangle layer. Click Add Layer Mask icon to remove the extras outside the selection. Double click on the rectangle's layer's thumbnail. Go to File, 
place embedded, and place your design. Drag these handles to resize your design. Hit enter or return when you're finished. Go back to file and save it. And then close the new document. Change the blend mode to multiply. Rename the layer, body or back body. Create a path beneath the left stripe. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose the solid color. In the color picker, choose dark color. Then click OK. Double click on this and rename it left inside. Create a path around the left stripe. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to adjustment layer icon and choose the solid color. In the color picker, choose whatever color you like. Then click OK. Right click and choose the convert to smart object. Double click on the layer's thumbnail. Go back to file, place embedded, and place your design. Right click and create clipping mask. Press Ctrl T to select the free transform tool. Drag these handles to resize your design. Click and drag outside the free transform box to rotate your design and match it to your shirt stripe. Hit enter or return when you're finished. Go back to file and save it and then close the document. Change the blend mode to multiply. Rename the layer left stripe. Create a path beneath the right stripe. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to adjustment layer icon and solid color. In the color picker, choose dark color. Then click OK. Double click on this and rename it right inside. Create a path around the right stripe. Press Ctrl Enter to new selection. Go back to adjustment layer icon and choose the solid color. In the color picker, choose any color. Then click OK. Right click and choose the convert to smart object. Double click on the layer's thumbnail. Go back to file, place embedded, and place your design. Right click and create clipping mask. Press Ctrl T to select the free transform tool. Drag these handles to resize your design. Click and drag outside the free transform box to rotate your design and match it to your shirt stripe. Hit enter or return when you're finished. Go back to file and save it. And then close the document. Rename the layer, right stripe. Create a path around the right sleeve. Press Ctrl Enter. Click on the adjustment layer icon and solid color. In the color picker you can choose any color of your design. Then click OK. Change the blend mode to multiply. Double click on this and rename it right sleeve. Create a path around the left sleeve. Press Ctrl Enter. Go back to Adjustment Layer icon and choose the solid color. Pick the color of your design. Then click OK. Change the blend mode to multiply. Rename the layer, left sleeve. Create a path around the top collar. Press Ctrl Enter. Go back to Adjustment Layer icon and choose the solid color. Pick the color of your design. Then click OK. Change the blend mode to multiply. Double click on this and rename it collar. Open your brush tool. Select layer mask of the collar layer. And just paint on the collar, just like that. Select the 10 layers by holding down shift key. Press Ctrl G to place them into a folder group. Double click on this and rename it back. Now, open the front group layer. Double click on the front body layer's thumbnail. Go to File, Place Embedded, and place your logo. Click and drag handles to resize and position the logo. Hit Enter or Return when you're finished. Go back to File, and choose the Save, and then close the PSB document. And then enable the background. And this is, the result.